bit why we pray with that even. Let's give him end. What a glorious beginning to beginning the day with God on Thursday the 19th of September. We opened, of course, with Charles Villiers Stanford's glorious setting of Psalm 150. Holy God, you are always with us. Open our eyes to your presence. God of faithful surprises, throughout the ages you have made known your love and power in unexpected ways and places. May we daily perceive the joy and wonder of your abiding presence and offer our lives in gratitude for our redemption. Amen. All you works of God, bless your creator. Praise her and glorify her forever. Let the wide earth bless the creator. Let the arching heavens bless the creator. Let the whole body of God bless the creator. Praise her and glorify her forever. You returning daylight, bless your creator. Twilight and shadows, Bless your creator, embracing darkness. Bless your creator. Praise her and glorify her forever. Let all who live and grow and breathe bless our creator. Praise her and glorify her forever. We come now to today's reading, which comes from Genesis chapter 1. Then God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. Thanks be to God. Now to today's season of creation reflection. Gerard Manley Hopkins was a Jesuit priest and poet, born in 1844. Even as a child, he showed a flair for the creative and an affinity towards nature. Many of his poems, explicitly or implicitly, explore the relationship between God and nature, and in particular what he called instinct which is that which gives something its unique identity. What makes a tree an elm rather than an oak or a poplar? He is very clear that this individuality was given by God. Gerard Manley Hopkins' view of the natural world can be summed up in the opening line from one of his most well-known poems, God's Grandeur. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. Gerard Manley Hopkins sees God's glory flowing through the whole of creation, and he goes on to see it sparkling light shining from shook foil throughout the world. In another sonnet, The Star Like Night, he uses 14 exclamation marks as he exhorts the reader to Look at the stars, look, look up at the skies, in praise of the Creator God. This excitable response is balanced in the poem God's Grandeur by another, more gentle image of God's glory being like the ooze of oil crushed, giving a sense of God enriching the world and filling it with flavour. This contrast between dynamism and gentleness, the spectacular and the mundane, is beautifully put in his poem, Hide Beauty, in which he calls upon all things swift, slow, sweet, sour, dazzle, dim, praise him. Can we try and notice these contrasts today? How is God praised by their differences? Amen.
you come now to our season of creation affirmation of faith. We believe, believe in God, the creator of all life and beauty, who blesses our journey. We believe in Jesus Christ, who lived as a friend and saviour to all he met as he travelled, and who ate and laughed, wept and celebrated with them in love. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who rides on the gentle breeze, who strengthens our bindings, and who offers hope eternal. We believe in the Church, which stands open to all travellers, and bears witness to the everlasting love of God. As we turn to the tasks before us this day, fill us, gracious Lord, in making the faithful choices, great and small, guide us, gracious Lord, as we seek to notice and serve those in need. Teach us, gracious Lord, as we offer our lives to you. Hear us, gracious Lord, with our hearts ready to serve. Accompany us, gracious Lord. Now pray together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Generous giver, you pour forth your extravagant bounty without measure upon your whole creation. Teach us such generosity that the fruits of our spirits and the works of our hands may build your commonwealth of blessing. Amen. Holy God, you are always with us. Open our eyes to your presence. Amen. 